Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brave for Kia, and today we're talking used cars. This one is stock number P2788. It's a 2013 Subaru Crosstrek. Let's go take a look. All right, 2013 Subaru Crosstrek. This one is described as beige on the key tag, but if you know Subaru's colors, you'll know it's not really a beige. It's kind of a unique color, and I kind of like it. I actually quite like this car. So let's take a look at it. Here we go, out front, there's your nice uh, headlights, fog lights. You've got extra ground clearance on a car like this. So uh, they always show it in the ads uh, with kayaks on the roof. And maybe that's uh, working on me because I'm a big kayaker and uh, I'm a big fan of that. So you do have uh, all-wheel drive system. It's a manual transmission on this car. So it's a 50-50 uh, split all-wheel drive system. It's not the automatic with a little bit more complicated system. Uh, a lot of people are looking for that manual transmission all-wheel drive system. Sort of like a, you know, mini uh, BR, or not BRZ, uh, mini WRX but you know, a little bit less power, a little bit more efficiency, and a little bit more ground clearance. Oh, back here, you do have an accessory hitch. So of course, if you're a Subaru owner, you're probably throwing bikes on the back there. You're probably throwing kayaks on the roof and you're going camping. So we'll take a look at the trunk in a second. And uh, here's around this side again. We're gonna hop in before we look at the trunk and take a look inside. All right, let's go a little wide angle here. Black leather interior, so you can see uh, that right there. And let's jump inside here. It is a keyed car, I'll show you the key in a minute. I'm just gonna turn the key for a second with my left hand awkwardly. I'm not gonna fully start the car because we are indoors. Uh, let me just turn the climate system off though for a second. All right, actually, you know what? We'll zoom back in for a second. Left side tack, right side speedometer, central display information panel over there. If that doesn't have all the information you need, you can look up over here where there's quite a bit more driver information up there, uh, including your backup camera. So if I throw it in reverse for a second here, You'll see a backup camera. Again, it looks a little bit smaller, but you can see it quite easily from the driver's seat. Uh, just the way we're filming here with the uh, wide angles and everything else. Coming back here, you've got another screen, another display screen, and you've got AM, FM, and satellite radio. You've got a uh, CD player as well. So you've got kind of a little bit of everything in here and a nice little stereo system there. Down here, you do have automatic climate control. So uh, automatic here. You can control the fan speed and the temperature over there. Nice big storage compartment there. There is a USB port or a 12 volt port, I should say, down over there. I think you can see it, there we go. And uh, of course, this is a manual transmission as well. So there's your manual transmission, uh, five-speed manual. I'm gonna scroll around the side here, show you what the dash looks like. Uh, I've got the nice silver trim coming in the side and you can see a little bit soft touch there, not super soft, but it is sort of a rubbery soft touch uh, armrest there. As we mentioned, the black leather seats there. I'm going to scroll around to the back. It is a five-passenger car, so you can see that there. There's an armrest in the center there. And we're going to go back to the front row seat. We're going to look straight up, and there you can see the sunroof. So you've got a nice sunroof up here. Coming back around to the steering wheel, we'll show you the steering wheel controls. As we get there right here, you've got cruise control on this side here. Over on this side, you've got sort of your uh, um, audio phone, everything right there. And then down here, your fingers have access to a control panel right there, which controls that big screen over there. So uh, lots of controls, power windows, power locks, all the things you would expect. Let's just turn the key car off for a second. Great visibility in this car as well. Oops, coming over here, you can see the key, if I can get it in my hands. There's your key right there. So it is, uh, let me just zoom in for a second. There we go. Uh, so we've got lock, unlock, panic button, and all the remote right there on the key. Nice and simple, easy, easy. We'll pop the trunk open for you like I said I would. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Well, you know what? Let's just unlock the car. I know that the key fob battery is dead right now, so when you come see the car, hopefully that'll be fixed. But uh, I uh, did not get the key fob battery. That's why I couldn't unlock the, key right, the trunk right there. There we go. Pop the trunk. You can see you've got a nice uh, carpeted area in the trunk there. Uh, you've got the privacy blind as well, so you've got a good size trunk and again a good size opening as well. So that's going to be uh, perfect for getting your gear in and out. Shut that up, and there we go. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. Phone number is 519 304 6542. You can also call us, uh, uh, sorry, you can reach us online www.brandforkia.ca. The easiest way to reach us is just click the link in the description below this video. That will take you right to our sales team. Thanks everybody for watching.